Women who dated older men, when did you realize they were predators? My mother found older boys to introduce me to when I was 15 16 She would take me to coffee shops or sneak me into bars and charm her way with men in their 20s only to introduce them to me. I would date them, and she would get chars done around the house that she needed. Painted kitchen, fixed cabinets, roof work, stuff like that. I remember my best friend's mom trying to warn me and explain to me why it was wrong of my mother to let her 15-year-old date 25-year-olds, but I just thought I was really cool. It wasn't until one of them found me online and reached out a few years ago, that I realized what she'd actually been doing all that time. And of course, none of these guys knew what the duck they were doing so the house looked like shit anyways. My cousin in GA got with a guy when she was around 13 and he was around 26. She had three kids with him. He slept around with anyone who was willing including his first cousin, her mom, my aunt, and her sister. He took advantage of her and ducked her self-esteem so much that she always takes him back. Her three kids now all have kids too. She is raising most of her grandkids. I feel sorry for all of them. Some parts of Georgia are like a third world country. I was 16, a school teacher who was 30 years old used to touch me and text me stuff. I didn't really realize it was bad until some years later when he married a girl for my class. I didn't tell anyone because I was scared that people would think that it was my fault. Not a woman but when I was under 16 I joined a guild on WoW and the guild leader groomed and pressured me into sending him nudes and being naked on webcam. When his girlfriend found out she told the entire guild that I was a homewrecker. I really thought the guy cared about me, but he joined in and said I was desperate and it was sad that I was so into him. He blocked me and ruined my reputation on that server. He was in the army and 28 years old. Pretty sure those pictures got passed around and it is absolutely vile that these 30 plus grown adult men were distributing CP of me and laughing about it. My first boyfriend. I was barely 15, he was 21. Worked in a local shop and all the girls at my school liked him so it came as a bit of a surprise when the biggest dork ever, me, somehow landed him and not any of the popular girls. We dated for maybe 4 months, turned out he was sleeping with 3 girls in my year which I found confusing because I'd begged him to take my virginity to no avail. Always found that really weird and insulting that he never even wanted to sleep with me. Plot twist, my mum had stormed into the shop when we first started dating and told him, if you take my daughter's virginity, I will kill you with my bare hands. God bless my mum. I met a dude on Adult Swim's forums back when I was around 12. He was 24 and was nice to me. Things always seemed tanky to me even from the beginning, but I had no friends in real life and was definitely in an ugly duckling place, so I figured that if this is who is going to pay attention to me, so be it. He would tell me the things he wanted to do to me and eventually sent me a hideously Laura's picture of his dung and all I remember is trying to laugh it off and said I thought he sent me a picture of a sock. Eventually, he started asking that if we met in person if he could tie me up and take nudes of me. He started talking about buying a plane ticket to visit me and for my address and I guess I finally had a bad enough gut feeling and didn't go through with it. My family eventually found out about us talking and it was a huge deal. I was rightfully banned from the internet for a while, not that it mattered much, because I wound up meeting another awful dude older than me, but this one was locally grown. I was 15 with a 21 year old. He hung around youth group and made all us younger girls feel special with his attention. I was shy and quiet, didn't stand out much, but obviously wanted the special attention that all the prettier, peppier girls got. He wasn't interested until he found out my mom worked nights and I was home alone. We ended up getting into a pretty heated argument and split when, two weeks in, I still hadn't let him come over because I was terrified of what my mom would do if she knew I'd had anyone over while she was gone. I was 14 and dated a 25 year old cop. He never asked my age and I never told. One day we're chatting on phone and I told him that I got some homework to do and I'll call back later. He said fresher year of college getting to you huh? I said, college? I'm in high school. Dead silence, then he asked how old I was and I said 14. He freaked out and was saying I'm gonna go to jail for this and I'm gonna lose my job. He said I can't see you again and please don't tell anyone. I said yeah of course. I got why he was scared and I never saw him again and never told anyone. I was 13 with a 22 year old boyfriend. He made me feel special, grown up, my friends were all jealous, dbh he was hot. 
a predator but a solid 10 tenths, we met on Xbox Live, those were the days, and started a relationship. I was in my ugly duckling face so was drawn into it by the attention. No boys my own age seemed interested in me, I was bullied a bit and it was nice for a good looking, older boy to think I was pretty. He slowly pressured me into sex, started with pushing me into sexual acts on webcam, to oral, then full sex. He always insisted on filming everything because he loved me so much he wanted to only use our videos as what I wasn't aware of was the fact he was showing all his friends and they made bets on how quickly he could get me to do something else. Whenever I pushed back he always said, if I wanted to date a man I needed to act like a woman otherwise he would find a girl more willing to have a proper relationship with him. He then tried to pressure me into sleeping with his friends, started with a threesome, him included, then one night he asked me to just sleep with his friend. I saw his friend give him money which is when I realized this whole thing was a lie and left. I'm from a third world country where it is normal for 15 to 16 year old girls to date guys in their early to late 20s. Especially in the 90s when chat rooms became available thanks to the internet. At 13 to 14 years old, my girlfriends and I would meet up with 18 to 19 year old boys. Which now I know it was not a good idea but I didn't know any better back then. Then I moved to a different country where I learned that there were strict laws in place for adults dating teenagers. I was too stupid to understand why my mom was so upset when at 14 I had a date and got picked up in a car by a 24 year old who bought me ice cream at McDonald's but luckily he was very nice and took me home after. I was 17 and having a relationship with my 45 year old teacher, whilst I was in school. My dad was dying of terminal cancer and I needed someone to lean on. The police found out, but I didn't want to disclose any details. Watching my dad die was enough trauma, let alone having a full-on police investigation. He is no longer allowed to teach, but never was prosecuted. I tried to go for counseling, but they said they would have to inform the police of whatever I said. So I've been trying to deal with it by myself. He hit me and sent me death threats and I never reported him. I don't know why. I don't remember watching anything or being around anyone that would influence me to do this, but I used to, at the age of 12 to 14, send nude pictures of myself to older men. I would go on chat sites and, offer up these pictures of myself. I never met up with any of the people I sent pictures to, and I still, to this day don't know why I did it. To this day I think about older men taking advantage of me and I don't know why I always go to that place. I don't think I was abused, if I was, I don't remember it. I had, just, turned 18, he was 26. He flew across half the world to see me. I didn't want him to. Guilted me into being with him. When I told my mom I felt uncomfortable being pressured, she too guilted me about him coming so far for me. Overall super ducked up. But the most disturbing thing is how pressed he was on getting married. This man really wanted us to tie the knot, have babies, straight away. I had to remind him I hadn't even finished high school yet. That didn't bother him the slightest bit. He was dead set on us getting married, moving to his country and having a family ASAP. Looking back, I can see that what he really wanted was to completely isolate me from everything and everyone I know, worth mentioning, he was somewhat racist towards my people, and wasn't big on the idea of coming back to my country, and seal the deal of me being 100% dependent on him by bringing some babies into the picture. And you know what? It felt so much like everyone felt that's what I should do, that I nearly went through with it. I shudder at the thought of what could have been. I was 14 and he was 23 years old. We met through friends, he hung out with high schoolers, of course, and started dating. He would take me out to bars, girls can definitely look older with makeup done but there was a lot of people looking the other way, and out to parties and back to his apartment. Where we had plenty of sex, of course. He had some interesting proclivities and I learned a lot of things I didn't have a clue till then that some people did in the bedroom. He made me feel desired and special. Like, this full-grown man could have any sophisticated, adult woman he wanted but he was interested in me. Eventually, his parents caught us having sex in his living room, we were idiots, and somehow it came out how old I was. Not sure how, maybe they got suspicious or they had seen him with young girls before and they called my mom. He was shipped off to live with his aunt in another state and my mom beat the crap out of me. I realize now he was not special, himself. He was just a gross dude who liked young girls who work out and afraid and wouldn't say no to the things he wanted to do. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. 
Share your views in the comments below.